Are you looking for an easy way to display your Facebook status in your WordPress website? Adding the Facebook status to your WordPress website can increase engagement with your users. It can also boost excitement and interaction with your website from all of your audience from Facebook. And in this video, I'll walk you through how to embed Facebook posts on your WordPress website. Hey there, I'm Christina with WP Beginner, where we teach all about WordPress so you can grow your website and reach your audience. If you find value in this video, give it a like. It really does help us out. And all the links that I talk about, you can find them in the description below. So let's dive in. Now we're going to cover two different methods so you can pick the one that will work best for you. So method one, we're going to embed the Facebook status and WordPress posts by using a plugin. To get started, we'll head over to our WordPress dashboard. We'll go to plugins, add new, and we'll look for smash balloon, social post feed and social post feed. That's what we want. You can see it's done by smash balloon. It's formerly called custom Facebook feed. We're going to install this plugin now. And when we're done installing, you want to make sure you stick around to activate the plugin as well. Great. Now that it's activated, we want to come over to the left hand side and we're looking for Facebook feed. We go to Facebook feed settings to set everything up. Great. From here, you see a big blue button where you can connect your Facebook account. Go ahead and click on that. And it's going to ask you, what are you wanting to connect a Facebook page or a group? We're going to connect to a Facebook page. So we'll click continue and it'll ask you which page do you want to connect to? So you want to select the page that you want to connect to and click next. And then you'll see what all that you'll want to give access to. We'll go ahead and just click done. Once it's connected, it'll head back over to our WordPress dashboard that we can continue on. Great. Now that you connect everything, you want to make sure you click save settings. And now we can add any of the Facebook posts to our site. Now that we've done all that, we can embed any Facebook status on our website. And to do that, you simply want to go to whatever status you want to do. For instance, we'll do this one about how to split WordPress posts into multiples. So we'll click on this one and then you can right click on the timestamp right click, copy link address, go back to our poster page where we want it to go. For this one, I'll just do the conversion tracking one, edit it. I'm going to go on a new line, hit enter, and then I'm going to control V to embed that. And now that embeds that perfectly on my site. So now we can update it and then see it in action on our website. So the cool thing about the smash balloon Facebook feed, light is you can add your Facebook feed to any of your website, but this will include everything on your Facebook feed, including your posts, images, videos, and everything like that. So if you want to customize it a little bit more, then come up here and unlock more features using upgrading to pro. And when you do that, it will take you over to smash balloon where you can purchase their paid plugin. Once you create an account, you want to go to your download section and then you'll want to download the Facebook feeds pro plugin. Go ahead and download this and we'll also want to copy our license key while we're here. Head back over to our WordPress dashboard and we'll deactivate the old plugin so we can install the new one. So let's go to plugins, installed plugins. And when you upgrade to the pro it will, and install it, it will allow all the things that you've already done to stay so you won't lose anything. But we want to deactivate smash balloon custom feed light and then we'll delete it. Great. Once that's deleted, we'll scroll back up and let's go ahead and click add new. And instead of searching for the plugin, since we've already downloaded it, let's go to pl upload plugin, choose file so we can find where it is and we'll upload it and install. Now you also want to make sure you stick around again to activate the plugin. Once it's activated, you'll want to come over to the left and go to settings again from settings. We want to go to license so we can add our license key. Now that we've added the license key, let's go to configuration tab. Scrolling down to the settings, you can choose everything. So from here, it is our page. You can choose how to show the posts. So it's only by the page owner. If you wanted to show other people, you could do that or a combination. You can choose how many posts to display and how often to check for new posts. So if you're very active on the Facebook page, then you want to set that accordingly. We can save settings here. You can go to customize to customize it even further. So from here, you can choose the width, the height, the padding. If you want a special color here as well, how many columns. So if you want double columns, you can do that. You can also choose, do you want to just show certain events or do you want to just show albums, things like that. You can pick and choose all of those here. And there are a few more customizations that you can do to make this look exactly how you want for your website. 
From here, we can also go to post layout to showcase how you want it to look and feel on your site. You can either do a thumbnail, half width or full width for your website. And then we can also style the posts so you can make more changes to it to make it look even better. If you want just regular or if you want it boxed, you want to separate it with some, cart, some color, you want to inherit from the theme, which it automatically does. Or if you want to set up your own, you can do that here. Once you make all the changes, go ahead and click save changes. And now I'll show you how you can add it to your website. Once you've done everything, you want to go back to configuration and let's scroll down. We're looking for how to display your feed. If you've done everything that you want to it in the customization, we can just copy this so we can put it on our page. You can also do multiple feeds and you can read about that in the description below on how to add multiple feeds to your website as well. So for this one, we're just going to create a new page because we want this to showcase all of our Facebook interactions. We'll do something like Facebook. And from here, we want to search for, we'll do forward slash and we'll search for short code. And that's the one we want. And let's right click, paste the short code that we just copied and we'll publish it. And now we can see it in action. And so this will now be our Facebook feed with all of our information here. And if you're also looking to add Instagram feed to your website, then make sure you watch this video next as I walk you through how to add Instagram feed on your WordPress website. And I'll see you over there.